Let's take a dive into another dimension, one where we can learn the truth about what is really happening behind the closed doors of one of the world's most prestigious scientific institutions. The European Council for Nuclear Research, known as CERN, has been at the forefront of many of the major scientific advancements since its induction into the research community in 1954. From the development of the World Wide Web to the discovery of the Higgs boson, CERN has been a leader within scientific research facilities. But there are those who believe something else may be going on behind the curtains that the public should get to know. Could the LHC generate a black hole that will swallow the Earth? When CERN first announced the construction of the largest particle accelerator the world has ever seen, theories about what could be generated by that kind of energy began to fly. The Large Hadron Collider was built in order to speed up particles until they are traveling at velocities near the speed of light before directing them to collide into each other, smashing the particles apart and releasing a huge amount of energy in the process. It is during this process that some believe black holes will be generated from all the energy and intense forces at the heart of the collision. If a black hole was born with enough mass, it could begin consuming everything that surrounds it, starting from the smallest molecules and growing in mass until it generates enough gravitational pull to begin swallowing the Earth. This entire process could occur so fast that no one would have time to react. But the scientists working at CERN say that there is nothing to worry about. While the physics explaining these collisions say there is a chance a black hole will be generated, the probability of that event happening is extremely low. Physicist Mikao Kaku even said in a 2008 article about this very topic, In my opinion, if an event is so rare that it will probably not happen in the lifetime of the universe, then we physicists should say to the media that it will not occur, period. And even if these black holes were formed, they would be so minuscule in both size and energy that they would evaporate into nothing in a matter of moments. So we may not have to worry about black holes, but there are other theories about what is happening within the Large Hadron Collider that may be harder to disprove. Intense energies have ripped the fabric of reality and something may be leaking in or out. When the LHC is switched on, it takes a lot of energy pumped into the machine in order to accelerate particles while keeping everything cold enough so it doesn't break. Some people believe that concentrating this much energy into one place while forcing particles to collide and explode into fundamental particles could be enough to cause the very fabric of our reality to rip. There are theories in physics, like the multiverse theory, that claim there are countless other universes out there. With the infinite number of possible paths our reality can go down, an entirely new universe may be created to explore each of these possibilities. The Large Hadron Collider may have caused our reality to tear and form a connection with other possible universes, causing information from that universe to slip into ours or vice versa. There is no telling what else could make its way through a tear like this. But those who are skeptical of CERN's ambition are worried that it could lead to almost certain destruction. The theory that the LHC could rip a hole in the universe and interact with another is similar to the theory that every black hole is connected by something like a tunnel to a white hole in another universe, forming a sort of bridge between the two where matter and information can flow. But the LHC is not the only piece of equipment that CERN has used to make their groundbreaking discoveries, the mastery of antimatter. Back in the 1920s, renowned physicist Paul Dirac published his paper on the existence of a new form of matter composed of particles with exactly opposite charge from what we ordinarily see, antimatter. Since then, antimatter has become known to be the popular opposite of matter, which will annihilate each other instantly if they were ever to come into contact with each other. CERN has been on the cutting edge of antimatter research for the past five decades, and in 1995, they became the first organization to artificially produce antimatter in the lab. This has led to many theories about what their ultimate goals may be with the antimatter they produce. There has long been talk about the types of spacecraft that advanced alien civilizations may use to be able to travel at speeds faster than light, and one of the top contenders has been crafts that use antimatter-powered engines. The interaction between matter and antimatter is special because they are perfect opposites when they meet. They annihilate each other entirely. Nearly all of the energy contained within the two bits of matter and antimatter is released, which could theoretically lead to an energy source that is near perfect efficiency. 
Could this source of power be the secret ingredient to warping the fabric of space-time and travel at warp speed? But not all theories are this bright. There are some who believe that this technology could be used to build the next generation of weapons beyond what nuclear weapons are capable of. The LHC made us jump realities. Have you heard about the Mandela effects that have been talked about over the past few years? Whether it was Nelson Mandela's death, Curious George's tale, or the Bernstein Bears, collective false memories are a common topic today with numerous examples. But what is the origin of this phenomenon? There are some who believe that when CERN flips on the Large Hadron Collider, the energy and forces generated there cause us to jump realities to a parallel timeline, where there are minor differences that may not be noticed for quite some time. In physics, there are many theories that require the existence of an infinite number of parallel universes, all with their own infinite possibilities. All of these universes coexist together within a higher dimension in which, under special circumstances, they can interact and affect each other. Could harnessing that amount of power and smashing particles together to annihilate them and look through the fundamental parts create the conditions for our reality to fuse with another? If the multiverse is real and there are entire other universes, there must be a way for them to interact. And maybe researchers just happened to stumble upon one of those ways. Maybe we were never meant to see beyond the atom into the subatomic world, where the laws of physics that control the world at our scale seem to break down, and our reality will be significantly altered by pure accident. Or maybe all this isn't an accident after all. The LHC will open up a portal to hell. The scientists at CERN have been accused of working internationally to open some type of portal, either to hell or in order to summon powerful deities to help them control the entirety of Earth. Conspiracy theorists have pointed to a number of pieces of evidence to help support this, like the Devil's number 666 appearing in CERN's logo, as well as the circumference of the Collider having some significance. They have also pointed to the resemblance of the HLC to the Stargate scene in popular science fiction works and hinted at the use of alien technology incorporated into CERN's machinery. People have also enjoyed pointing at the two-meter-tall statue of the Hindu deity Lord Shiva, the destroyer at CERN, claiming their goal is to destroy the Earth and rebuild it in their image. While the statue was a gift of a friendship to CERN given from the Indian government, these ideas were bolstered when a prank video involving the statue and a fake human sacrifice was posted by a few workers. CERN has repeatedly assured that the LHC will not open any form of portal either to hell or to summon any powerful deity. So when the LHC is fired up again, let's hope these theories are wrong and a portal to the underworld will not be opened. But if you begin to see shadowy figures out of the corner of your eye, you may know why.